earlier today, we got to do a surprise interview in the VIP lounge for the Black Lotus with Aaron Forsyth and Mark Rosewater, and I got a chance to ask a couple of questions to uh, the both of them. Um, first question I asked was, it had to do with, would there ever be a chance that the world building guides would be available for public consumption? And Mark Rosewater said the thing that makes it difficult is that because things can change as far as where it starts off to where the cards are, people can become a little maybe over fixated on the cards themselves and therefore take whatever the original idea is as canon and it confuses the average player. And I said, well, that's unfortunate. And he said, well, yeah, it kind of is. But Aaron Forsyth seemed pretty keen on the idea uh, when I suggested the possibility of maybe a greatest hits where they take the things that are the most similar to the game that have been released and then put them out there. So that was another one. So another question that was asked by uh, part of the fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck. So the second question that I got to ask um, Mark and Aaron was from Allison, who is a partner in the show. Uh, he had a you know a question about fortification and and we discussed some of the older mechanics like such as fortification coming back in Fallout, which has not been available since the future site set. From what I understand, I, I, this is before my time. Um, Mark Rosewater admitted that he didn't really think that it was a very useful mechanic, and it hasn't been up until the point where Fallout came out and it actually has fortification in it. Which I, I don't, again, I don't play Fallout. And actually, what's interesting too is they talked about how a lot of the times they, the actual creators of the sets, the universe is beyond themselves are not actually fans or don't actually play the game uh, in order to get like sort of a fresh take on it. But when this happens, this is fortuitous for the magic creators because they get a chance to uh, bring things back that people have been clamoring for years because everybody wants to see an old mechanic return. And so that is, I'd say, the exciting part for them. Um, but they do have to, uh, I think it was saying, like they have to pay attention to not just examining like keywords, like for existence with the Marvel uh, sets up upcoming. You know, the character of Green Goblin, Aaron Forsyth said, you know, it's very hard not to make him green and make him a goblin, which from what I understand, he's neither in the uh, comics. I think he's a person, maybe, I don't know, did, and he got played by, who is that guy that played him? William Defoe. Nah, he's good. But anyway, that's the update from the questions I got to talk to with Mark Rosewater and Aaron Forsyth about, and uh, that'll be that. <laughs>